Greeting stars, we're gonna go ahead and get into channeling this energy. I hope you have a wonderful and prosperous work week ahead. All right, so we're talking about being unpredictable. Now, the originals to something. Now, maybe you are an original like an OG and or the original. Somebody may be questioning who originated something, okay? So, I'm picking up the energy of a tower. You can show me what it is I need to see. Okay, so we have a water course moon. So, we're talking about you not having uh, all the information that you need when it comes down to do with your finances and or your love life, okay? Somebody could actually be MIA. So someone may be questioning where are you at or where someone is located, all right? So guidance. This may have something to do with you blocking off a third party and attention to the synchronicities and or similarities is significant. So playing a lotto, all right? You could see one, one, one and or three is significant. Now maybe the power of three may resonate with you and or a third party. Either. You may have had to do something three times. Synchronicities happening simultaneously. So this has something to do with a cauldron. So mixing up something, something in, in a pot. Okay, so somebody may be making candles or uh, maybe you're being guided to do so. So a flame. Now this may have something to do with the false flame. A potion is significant and or lavender uh, as well as herbs. All right, so the South Node, we're talking about repetition. So y'all, this is significant. So this is where somebody belongs, all right? And or you're being guided to do something. Maybe someone may have told you that you were guided to do some form of alchemy or you may be an alchemist, okay? Your South Node could be significant and or a third party. Either. Show me what it is I need to see. So someone wasn't seeing things clearly. It has something to do with paperwork. Maybe somebody was guiding you wrong or not having guidance. So there's some sort of illusion that's not going to take. All right. And or something is being revealed about a situation from the past. Now, someone could be questioning your uh, motives and or you authentic or maybe a third party. Okay, so okay. retrograde is significant. So maybe this has something to do with a past person and or this could also be one that is up and coming. Okay, maybe even a person. Okay, so if you're in the music industry, that may resonate with you going forward. So Sagittarius, you could be somebody that's goal-orientated and or maybe you are flamboyant, okay? So this could also be an energy that you may have cycled out. Sagittarius on top of Sagittarius, okay? So for somebody, this is a belief system that you cycled out, all right? So you may also be dealing with the Pisces, but not necessarily this is about higher learning, education, okay, non-conforming as well. So two sides of the same coin. Something or someone wasn't precise in the past. This has something to do with generating income. Now, for some, it could be paperwork, all right? You may need to seek professional help. Uh, as a matter of fact, that's what I advise that you do. This is surrounding action okay so someone may feel like their hands are tied so so far we got Aquarius energy um, as a major here with Uranus being there so we're talking about something that's unpredictable this could double as a tower all right so somebody may be questioning again who the original creator of something is now for some you may be taking instructions like uh, from a class, maybe you're teaching a class, but this has something to do with divination. More than likely, it is tarot, okay? So something may pop up on your timeline, and you may question who the original creator 
of this content was, okay? So we're talking about reinvention. This also has something to do with going over paperwork, finalizing agreements, paying attention to the small print, okay? Um, for someone, though, this is, this is like a legality here, okay? Either. Now, this could be about your divine feminine or left one. They may or may not be into tarot. This could be someone that seeks guidance, okay? And or you may be following your intuition and uh, keeping things secret. So silence is key, maybe even necessary. Either show me what it is I need to see. For some, this may be an action that takes place in the future. So we're talking about Gemini energy. Most definitely, um, this is about a contract. So for some, this is going to be a soulmate, a soul tie, or something like that. Gemini energy. Let's see. Someone may have been taking instructions on how to break someone up and or manipulate their finances. Or maybe you were. Either show me what it is. So, we're definitely dealing with a high priest, high priestess. This has something to, to do with your vision. Maybe someone was trying to manipulate your vision and or a plan. Or this was you, right? So, we're definitely picking up the energy of your livelihood or the second house. Could be Taurus, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. So, patience is a virtue, you may need to check your second house placements. Could be Sag, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. May also be Pisces. So I'm getting the energy of birds of a feather flock together. So this may have something to do with an organization. Um, so it, it could be some sort of group uh, tussle taking place. Somebody may be overly dominating here. So this, this could have something to do with split of assets if this is not a group. Um, could be someone that you have like a contract with and or this could be an ending to a partnership. For somebody though, it may be even both. A partnership, um, a contract, whether if it is platonic and or romantic. So North No going forward. You may be trying to redo something, okay, or reinvent something. If you are a content creator, this may have something to do with your channel. Um, yeah. So something has been revealed. A cancer sign most definitely could be significant. Someone could also be on the cusp of cancer. And Leo doesn't necessarily have to be a cancer Leo cusp. Okay, so... Hmm. We have double Scorpio here. So some of you, you're dealing with the same sign. Now, if that's the case, this is the opposite to try to learn lesson, uh, learn lessons. Now, this could be someone that they may plagiarize your work or you may do this, but this may be someone that takes advantage of being the same sign as you, okay? Especially if this is someone that is in the role of giving guidance. So say for instance, is a tarot reader and a tarot reader is a cancer, okay? Such as myself, I'm on the cusp of Gemini and Cancer. And it is a another tarot reader that is on the cusp of Gemini, Cancer, Cancer, Leo, or something like that. Um, maybe even a South Node. This person will put themselves in my place. So this is about a role reversal for some of you. I feel like... Mm, you may be taking instruction from like a mother figure or someone that is older, but for somebody, this has something to do with a parent of a child, male and or female. So some sort of illusion is fading. Now you may be called to demonstrate some form of power. Um, you know, you could be in a leadership role. So this has something to do with authenticity. You being authentic, okay, and original, 
Maybe you're pioneering through something. And what I mean by that is you are the first, not necessarily the first to ever do it, but the first to ever present it in the way that you present it, okay? Maybe you are uh, breaking a glass ceiling. You Maybe you have seen that reading, okay? So travel. You may have to travel for work. You can be a father figure and or you put in a lot of time and commitment into this project, maybe even a person. So most definitely we're talking about a business owner, someone in their purpose, whether if it's masculine or a masculine, a male or a feminine female, okay, for instance. But this could be a male energy that travels a lot. So this has something to do with your career. Passion. So you may have a Sagittarius, North Node, Aries, Scorpio, Capricorn, or someone uh, it involved us, maybe in the ninth house. But it doesn't necessarily have to be, especially if this takes place in the future. So you may be moving from point A to point B while you are viewing this reading. This could also have something to do with you dropping a belief system about yourselves, about the world. This may be something that you are called to do. So stepping out into the light. This could be something for something hard for someone else to do, especially if they are working out of their shadow energy. Either show me what it is I need to see. I feel like what's unexpected going forward is you're not willing to heal something with someone, especially if this is a parent, okay? I feel like I picked this up before. So we got the tower energy. Could be Aquarius, could be Scorpio. Something unexpected. Either show me what it is I need to see. So getting caught off guard. Yeah. Okay. So Leo in the second house. So and or you realize something. Possibly yesterday on the thirteenth, you may have realized something happening with your finances. Okay. Something could be taken off and or being slowed down. This could be like attempts to slow you down. Currently, this is something that's happening in the shadow. So this is like a doorway to uh, your success here. You're dealing with somebody that is overly infatuated with winning so dominance is significant somebody may be compulsive as well all right so mm, this is more than being stuck in between a rock and a hard place this is someone that uses a spiritual gift in malicious ways okay and so if that is the case i feel like this person is stuck Okay, they can't move forward. They may be even um, like, they don't want to come out. They don't want to come out here. Okay, because this is like darkness on top of darkness. This is someone that took hard control and it bat it, it went back. Okay. Something could have actually went ablaze. Either show me what it is I need to see. Okay. So balance was already restored in ethereal. We got Libra moon, okay? Doesn't necessarily have to be. It could be a Scorpio moon. And or someone is hiding something or attempting to hide. Now, a new moon may have something to do with that. We're definitely picking up the energy of some form of bibbity bobbity boo This person may have attempted to end something for you and or maybe your spiritual spouse as well. They could have a leadership position. So we got Aquarius. Gemini, Virgo, but yeah, you know, this is trickster. So this is like, look over there while I do this over here. Look over there. Okay. Either, show me. All right. I feel like somebody was trying to block someone's abundance here. Now it could be a mother of a child. Um, it could be distorted thinking about women and or it could be a false flame or someone pretending to be a divine feminine, especially if they're like a reader or something. 
I feel like you have all the tools necessary, okay, going forward here. Because something is being balanced. Especially if they did some form of malicious uh, intent, okay, and or some sorcery during the new moon. Ether, show me what it is I need to see. You may be hearing shh, 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 okay. Somebody could be giving someone instructions to stay or remain silent. Because something was being delayed for a healer, okay, and or... You're being delayed because there's like a separate, uh, like a separation of assets and or some paperwork being finalized. I feel like whoever this is in this hermit energy, Virgo energy, is on the up and up. Okay, so going forward, I feel like something's going to be revealed about a distorted high priest and or high priestess. This is someone that was involved in some sort of intentions here okay this is someone that it, it deals with precision now they may have attempted to stop you from moving forward your car may have experienced some like defaults or maybe like check engine or something like that may have uh, came on your dashboard suddenly okay especially if you have like a new car this may have been something that was unexpected in the past and going forward, especially if that energy gets redirected back. Because we're definitely dealing with somebody that um, is underhanded, okay? I feel like something may have already returned in the past. It may have blocked their sources, okay? Something to do with their career and or money, Okay? Especially if this is something that they wanted for you or you wanted for this person. So Pisces in the North Node. Someone's not able to see things clearly and or maybe to channel your energy or you're not. If that's the case, you may be thinking of other ways um, to block someone. Be mindful that this person is aware of what you're doing. Okay, so you may be like having to deal with the repercussions of your actions in the past. Somebody felt like they were in it to win it. This may have been something that you, you dreamt in the past. Okay. And or maybe you felt this uh, in your eyes. Okay. Especially if you're an emperor. All right. So this could be your belief system and or somebody that you are in a contractual agreement with that may have something to do with this. You may feel going forward that you're going to have to combine energy with someone that is like-minded. Either show me what it is I need to see. Okay, yeah. So this has something to do with your beliefs, but this could also be you dropping some form of conformity, people-pleasing, okay? Maybe even walking a solidary path. This Hierophant and this combination doesn't give me somebody that follows a, a certain type of doctrine, okay? So this could be a new side of yourself emerging and or someone involved in this um, is emerging here. You can show me what it is I need to see. Okay, so I feel like you're going to find something out about someone that pushes their weight around. Now, cycling could be significant. Somebody may be regurgitating old information um, and or you're dealing with somebody that's a little bit off. Now, yeah, for some, it may be someone that you have a family with and or this could be taking place in your family and or soul tribe if you are uh, this high priestess in the shadow. Either show me what it is I need to see. Okay, so something from the past definitely got revealed, and it may have agitated someone. Something was done to someone that was in their purpose. Okay, so this is about the company you, you keep. So we're definitely picking up on the energy of surrounding um, people. 
having to do with this high priestess in the shadow. Okay, so someone was being tested. They may know that they failed miserably and or you do. Either show me what it is I need to see. Okay. So you may have wanted to know what was in the cup. Now, somebody may have told an untruth about an offer. This is something that took place in the past, especially if this person is into some form of um, dream interpretation, okay? Uh, maybe even tarot. Some form of divination is what I want to say, okay? Somebody did a lot to block this hermit energy, which is this hierophant. So going forward, you may have to present something in a different way. So you may be going through the blueprint of something. All right, so it's very important if you are in this high refined energy not to regurgitate a past belief. Okay, so this is about you doing it your way, like Frank, Frank Sinatra. I feel like you're going to realize that going forward and or possibly now because you're going through this re rebirth, okay? Eighth house. All right, so you have your defenses up uh, in your surrounding environment. You may feel like you're on a different planet. You may be seeing things in a different way. Maybe you've developed your spiritual sight. Okay, so this is about you surrendering to your purpose. This may be something that you had to do um, screaming and kicking, such as myself. Okay, as if it don't challenge you. It won't, it won't move you. That's how I feel about it, okay? So, uh, one more. Either show me what it is I need to see. Okay. So someone's pitch and or tone. Pitch black could be significant. May have something to do with your eyes, okay? Are this person's? Could be Scorpio, Sag, someone um, that's going through some sort of judgment as well. All right. <laughs> so you may have shined a light on somebody that's into vamping. And or you shined a light on someone's sorcery. All right. So I'm being guided to end it there. In this reading, I don't really want to talk too much about your finances, and I'm sure you see why, okay? Deuces.